here's another thought. Um, when everything is interesting to you, it's very, very hard to choose. Yes. I'm also a person who's very interested in everything. So um, not only do I like Queen, I like Frank Sinatra, and Nina yeah. Simone. And, mm. um, when I had CDs uh, many years ago, I had them organized into blues and jazz and indie and rock and folk music. And, you know, I had them in metal and I had them organized mm. into all these different types and categories and they were all interesting for me. Mm. And um, I, my, my, my road, my direction that I, that I choose is to try to go somewhere new and to find new things and to be creative. Mm. Um, so I don't know, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of great films that I have seen and I would like to see again because if a film is good, you should watch it more than once because mm -hmm. right? you, you never get everything watching it just, just once. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you get the, you know, the first time you see something, you're like, you're hit by everything. You're like, what do I look at? And the second time you, you can absorb more of the characters and the scenes and look at different faces and maybe have a look at what's happening in the background of some scenes and things and um, you can get more more from it but uh, I've always been interested in going forwards rather than going back I'm, I'm, I'm always a little bit more interested in tomorrow rather than Yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday is still interesting though as well. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere in between what I would call an eclectic person and uh, a Renaissance man. These, these, these are people who have an interest in everything, mm -hmm. right? I'm interested in the marketing policies of large international companies, and I'm interested in surfboards <laughs> you know I, 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 I i'm i'm interested in how things are made and created i'm interested in people's ideas i'm interested in um uh the exploration of human possibilities and uh and and those those things matter to me it is interesting that i didn't watch the film. Everybody else I know went to watch the film. Everybody else, everybody else went to watch the film and said, "Oh, it's a great film. You should go and see it." And I was like, "Yeah, whatever." <laughs> it it it, um, it doesn't. I I didn't feel that it would give me anything that I didn't already know. Oh no, you you know I think it's a good introduction to the topic if you're not a fan. I think if you're not a fan, but you heard the songs and you like the songs and when the songs come on the radio, you, you know, all we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Gugu, Radio What's New. You know, if you, if, you sing, if you sing along to the songs and when they're on the radio, then it's, it's, it's another part of that, that culture mm -hmm. for people. Uh, I don't know. I was... It's hard when everything is interesting. Mm. It's like, mm, what's this? What's this? And oh, there's a film about Queen. Oh no, there's a film about Elton John, and there's a film about all these others. There's a film about there's a there was there was a film about Elton John made just after the Queen one in the same style. And mm. I thought, oh, that'll be interesting. And there's a there's a film coming out next year made by. Oh, I hope I get this right. I think it's made go, going to be made by Peter Jackson, who did the uh, Lord of the Rings films. Mm -hmm. But it's a it's a biography of the Beatles using only real film filmed of the Beatles. Mm -hmm. And it's I think it's the rehearsals for the the last album that they made together. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
don't ask me how I know about that. How do I even know that that's that's it's, that's not even it's not even being promoted yet. I, I don't know. There was mm -hmm. some interview with him that uh, th that I saw where he talked about his next project, where he's got all these original tapes, all these original films of the Beatles, mm -hmm. and he has to cut them up and to make a special two hour three hour film, and that's going to be really really interesting. But I still probably won't watch it. <laughs> A lot of, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of great stuff. There's a lot of rubbish created as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, what, what did you listen to, listen to when you were when you were a teenager? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, yeah. I was, when I was young, it means in basic schools mainly. Then I was uh, really, it's, uh, I was listening heavy metal. But you know, this case heavy metal, you know, it was like uh, uh, Halloween, ACDC, and you know all this, all this, all this uh, group, yes, and Keys, and oh, you know, all this. yeah. But it was now when I, you know that the, there were, I would say, like a, one type of heavy metal groups and then there were dead metal and you know all this like uh uh creator or um, sepultura and you know all, all this thing and now you are having a lot of <laughs> yeah a lot of a lot of uh oh, it's called it type of <laughs> yes. Oh, nobody under nobody nobody understood what they are, uh, <laughs> what they are, what they are singing, but yeah, uh, yeah, everybody let's say uh, or people like it, uh, but you know now I, I'm different. Now I'm focusing more uh, on on all these. Yeah, it's interesting how we mellow out as we get older. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, so many people that, myself included, that listened to metal music, mm -hmm. and as as I got older, I was like, I still I still like it, but I don't listen to it so much. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if that's because I've relaxed a bit more, maybe, mm -hmm. or or something like that, or uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's strange because metal music was always confusing for me when I was very young. It, it was, as you said, you you don't know what they're singing about. Like, it's, it was like, what? What? It sounds. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> it sounds like you are drowning in the sea or something like that. Um, and I, that was what Metallica was for me. The first time I heard, yeah, Metallica. Metallica yes, yes. Metallica. First time I heard Metallica, I was like what are they singing about? I really don't understand that. And it's very strange because now if I listen to Metallica, I understand every word. Mm. So mm. I, I wonder if that's the same for everybody or if that's just, just for me. But um, yeah, those were, um, you know, that's, it's, uh, it's great music. It's yes, it's yes, yes. old albums. Are still better for me than than the new ones. It's 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 comfortable, more comfortable to me. Yeah, it. Yeah, I completely agree with that, and I've I have exactly the same experience, and uh, it, it's part of the complexity of growing up and growing older, where mm -hmm. we look for things that we know that are more comfortable for us i mean i have a so i have a google mini system in the living room and when i want to listen to music i just ask it to play something yes. but i can only ask it to play something that i know <laughs> yes so so it, it has to be something from from the past and um i guess there's so much good music and so little time and and uh, so many great songs as well that uh, we forget about or that we don't have time to listen to 
um, or that somebody else will um, somebody else will put on something and I will go, yeah, that's a great song. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I would I'd never think of actually playing that myself. It's and, and as you said, there's a lot of kids music as well. Uh, uh, a lot of music around video games, for example. Mm. Um, that, that's a huge industry now as well. So I guess, I guess to be honest, I'm completely lost in the topic because it. If somebody asked me, name any song in the top forty. It's forty is a strange number, isn't it? Top forty songs in the last ten years. I couldn't name any. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't give you one song. I have absolutely no idea what people think of as good and popular. I also think. I also personally believe it's all fixed now because I, I, before people had to physically walk into a record shop and they had to go and physically buy the record with their money mm. and and you you knew what was popular right now it's all clicks and it's all mysteriously counted by weird algorithms online and it can sort of be anything that anybody wants it to be now mm. Um, <laughs> it, it really can. I, I, God, who knows if even the um, who knows if even the music is made by people? The music might even be made by machines now. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. There is there's um there's a YouTube page with uh, some some guy some person who created this algorithm for songs. And what you do is you you put all of the songs from one group into a program. Mm -hmm. And this program will write a new song using only the information from the other songs. Mm -hmm. So the new song will have only the words and the music and the rhythms from the other songs. But it will create... It means that including words, not only music. Yeah. Yep. 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 And somebody wrote a program that does this. And... Mm -hmm. And and they have it, and they can do it. They have a YouTube channel where they, they take a band and they put all of the music from one band, Metallica or ACDC or or those. I only I say Metallica and ACDC because I remember I listened to those on that YouTube mm -hmm. page years ago. It's years it's old now. Um, and they could they they wrote the computer wrote a new song based on all of the data that was put in, and it was mm -hmm. and it was good. It wasn't, it wasn't perfect, but it was very good. Mm. And I, I can imagine that if you, if you're not like a big, big, big ACDC fan, and you hear this song, you will, you will think it's a new ACDC song, because mm. it, it, it's very, very, very close to being a perfect copy, uh, but mm. something new. So. Uh, you know, who knows if people are <laughs> really involved in a lot of the processes sometimes. Um, there's a lot of putting things into machines and programs mm -hmm. and you know, mod modulation of voice. Who knows if the singers in a lot of back groups can, can sing? Yes, like Milly Vanivy. Oh, yeah, that, that, that was a classic example. Yeah, um, and there's lots of examples of videos of singers on stage dropping the microphone. Yes. And you know everything continues normally. Um, uh, who were examples? There was uh, Britney Spears, Madonna, Justin Bieber. Those, those are three examples off the top of my head, and mm. I'm sure that a lot of uh, those female singers who sing and dance and have very active stage performances. I'm sure they have some help <laughs> with 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 things there. There's a program called AutoTune, which uh, automatically puts your voice into the right note. It doesn't matter what you sing. Uh -huh. If you sing badly in real time, it will correct it and make it right. And uh, and that that's used. That's used by professional singers on stage. So uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the the only thing we know that is real is 
if it's our friend and they're on the stage over there and they're singing into the microphone, that's that that's the only thing we know that is real. Um, everything can be manipulated. Mm. So, uh, like 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 the beautiful office you have in the background there. Yes. Yeah.